Aloha, this is Jonathan, and this is my unboxing of the Brady Tarot 2nd Edition. This is not the Kickstarter version, this is the one that just went live on the Brady Tarot website, I believe. So, let's get started. Oh, and of course there's plastic, under plastic. Um, let's see. I get in there. There we go. That should be good. Oops, I think I just moved the camera. Trying to get in here, sorry. <laughs> So, the Brady Tarot. Oh, ah, there we go. Oh, it's hard to get this off of here. I just have to... I don't know. I don't know. I guess I better just take it off, huh? seem to want to come off, so I guess I'll deal with that later, but, ooh, that's very pretty, I don't know if you can see that shiny owl, I had to bring out my little owl to watch over the proceedings, that's the same owl that came on the uh, shipping list, god, this just does not want to come off, I guess I just have to do this, I was trying not to, but I don't know how else to get this off, so... Uh, oh well. I was going to try and save that, but I'm a completist, so. A journey through the wilderness of spirit. Nope. Ooh, first thing I notice is that blingy, shiny gold in there. Wow. Okay, and it looks like we have the miners out here, so it looks like feathers, I think that must be staff, that looks like a little bit of flame there, horns, there's a drop of water coming in, so it must be cups, here we have arrows, Probably swords. Oh, yep. Got a little bit of glue on there. Let me just get that off. I'll have to get that off with a baby wipe or something. And then plants. Oh no. I think that's supposed to be roots. If I remember Jen's Balance to Rose video. Let's put those boxes off to the side. Wow, it's a hefty little book, isn't it? Shiny. And of course the book is by Rachel Pollock. One of the reasons I wanted to get this deck, because I love stuff. Oh yeah, wands, fire becomes feathers, cups, water becomes horns, swords, air becomes arrows, and coins, earth becomes roots. Roots! And then majors talking about stuff now we go into the majors themselves looks like you get a picture and then a couple words or i guess just i see just a little piece of the image is on there so and then we'll get into minors Readings. Talking about readings with how the things have been changed. And then you have. Do I have a name for this reading? I 
maybe people name their readings, but I guess not this time. Where am I now? What will send me on my journey? What will challenge me? What will help me? What I will discover? What I will become? That's a nice reading. All right, all right. Looks like 185 pages. Oh, you can do a digital download of the book as well. Cool. So, the back. Ooh, rose petal. I love that feel. So, it's the backs, and it's nice, thick cardstock. And as you can see, very blingy on the sides, very gold. The Fool. Oh, uh, you know what I think this is? I think it's a magpie in someone else's nest. And that other one is feeding that magpie, thinking it's her baby. Wow. The Magician. God love me a crow, especially one carrying a peacock feather. Oh, I get it. You got your feathers. What's that? It looks like an ink pot. An arrow. And the water. Oh, I see the horns. The water's there. And the roots. Interesting. Oh, I see. Quill and ink. And it's a blank banner. To write your own future, I get it. Okay. Here we have the high priestess. There's an owl. I love how this tapestry is transparent. You can actually see behind, like the rising moon is back there. It's a powerful image. The Empress. The Emperor. The King of the Mountain. The Hierophant. Very cool. There's the different religious symbols in there. I think that's a falcon. Is that a falcon or a hawk? I'm, I love this like mint green background. The lovers. I got the, in reminiscence of the usual lovers card, you got the burning branch and it's this one has an apple, but I almost missed this snake curled around her leg. I'm assuming that's the her. The chariot. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a little too close there. Strength. More reminiscent of the Marseille strength with uh, Hercules fighting the Nemean lion, but rattlesnake raft and almost in the the infinity symbol that you usually see on the strength card. I love this hermit card. I believe that's the same one you see here. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Larva. Or, I guess, hatching eggs, larva, chrysalis, and, sorry Simon, moth that has <laughs> hatched there. 
Amazing image. We have a lot of these kind of yellow spiders here, and they always make that X with their legs. Justice. The hanged one. Hanging possum. What's that? Oh yeah, lightning bugs are Oh, whoa. That's an interesting image, because you got the human skull, and then underneath is a saber tooth. And then, that must be like, dinosaur jaws there. And you have the cockroaches still surviving. Outlasts everybody, right? That's a potent image there. Here we have temperance. The crow and the eagle, the two snakes intertwined around the weeping willow. One snake on land, one snake in water. That's cool. I like that. The devil. Goat eating goat weed, it looks like. <laughs> oh, but they got these two birds trapped in the weed. Interesting. And the only humans seem to be human skulls that keep showing up here and there. Very interesting. Here we have the Tawa. The tree breaks. But some of those birds fly free. The star. I love that they made the Ibis the creature pouring water in here. And you get the horns. The moon. I'm trying to speed up a little because it looks like my battery only has so much time left. So I'm going to have to speed this video up just a little. The sun. I'd love to spend a lot more time on each card, but it is what it is. Judgment. Oh, the eagle and the snake. That's a cool image. And then we have the world. The crow, owl. You have horns, an arrow, roots coming down. I guess these guys represent the feathers. And the leaf. I don't have to read up about that. I'm glad it's a thick book because it obviously some details here that would be good to read into. Inspiration strikes like lightning. It's like vulture versus an owl. Interesting. Here we have the two of feather success. Three feathers is vantage. Four feathers, optimism. Yay, groundhogs! Aw, oh, makes me think of Donna. Ozark, Oracle. Five, rivalry. Oh, those Gila monsters are getting each other. Six, victory. Falcon versus rattlesnake, or is that a red-tailed hawk? That might be a red-tailed hawk. And we have seven of feathers. Power We've got buffaloes, rumbling like thunder. Apparently, eight swiftness. Oh, watch out, little groundhog! You're about to be someone's lunch. Happened so fast. Nine, conflict. So I do know that this deck has some controversy over uh, some of the cards are a little 
So how do we say violent? Oh, turkey burden. So in this deck, instead of pages, knights, queens, kings, it's daughter, son, mother, father. Daughter of feathers. And feathers is staves, staves, or wands. Son of feathers. Oh, that goes back to the story of how the crow became black by bringing back a piece of the sun to light up the world again. Mother of feathers. Those pheasants, I think they're pheasants. And the father of feathers. That's definitely a red tail hawk. There's like a brush fire behind him. And there's like a glow around him too. That's cool. Okay, here we go into cups. Joy for the first one. That bird definitely looks happy. Two is union. Those blue footed boobies? Might be. Celebration. I do like these horns with the little faces. Oh, geese? There must be geese. Here we have the four apathy. Water buffalo just moping. Even though there's more being on, now all of the vessels are full though, so he just doesn't care. Five loss. Six happiness. Seven breach. Oh, I see. A little snake getting in there. All the frogs are and lizards are running away. Huh. Eight. Departure. Oh, I see. The dragonfly just molted and I was flying away. Interesting image. Nine, fulfillment. Oh, he made it across. More, those are Canadian geese. Ten, overflowing. Looks like a kingfisher. Here we have daughter of horns. <laughs> Son of Horns, He's reaching across, trying to get that. Let's see, he ate everything on his side. Mother of Horns, I love that she's holding a flute. Definitely have to read more about these imagery. Father of Horns. How did that deer get on that? Oh, bad lord. It looks like there's a crocodile or something in the water there. I don't know if you can see that. Crocodile or dragon. <laughs> well, since it's actual animals, it's probably a crocodile. Truth. Oh, one of arrows. I didn't see an arrow, so. I was a little confused. Oh, all right. There I go, yawning again. Two, armistice. Uh, okay, so this suit is the one that is very brutal, and if you can't handle um, brutality, injured animals, dead animals, you might want to skip this part. Skip ahead to the roots, maybe. 
Although even that, no, no, I think the root should be okay, but yeah. So here's the three of arrows for a little dead magpie. Four, withdrawal. Okay, look away. This one might be harsh for some people. Five, defeat. Six, passage. Uh -huh. Flying off with the uh, glove. That's an interesting image. Falcon freeing itself. Here we have the seven, guile. Oh, all the squirrels are stealing arrows. Oh, not just stealing arrows, breaking the arrows. Eight, oppression. Oh, those blue jays do not want that hawk anywhere near them. Oh, this is a harsh picture too. This is this suit is not does not hold back. Oh, okay, putting that one down. That one is anguish. Uh, oh, that good. Oof. <laughs> Ten. Finality. I don't know if you can see the arrows are not actually piercing. This possum is playing dead. Playing possum, as they say. <laughs> Daughter. Oh, it's a sloth. I love sloths. Son of arrows. Little fox about to pounce. Mother of arrows. Oh. She just used the arrow to break open a geode to find crystals inside. Interesting. Oh, and there's some little baby cubs right in there. I almost missed those. I'm trying to rush because my battery's going to die soon. Father of arrows. It'd be better just to get through than try and go find my plug, which I'm not exactly sure where it is right now. Enchantment. So now we're into roots. That's the ace of roots. Two of roots. So these are um, equivalent of coins or pentacles. Equilibrium. Three, work. Oh, there's a cute little badger. Four, preservation. Oh, I guess not all of these are okay. You know, scarcity. Losing its fur. Oh, that's not good. Six, altruism. <laughs> it's a very interesting image with the snake. Snake and hair and feather. Seven, growth. Eight, discipline. Oh, that, uh, I'm gonna say bees, but it looks, I don't know if those are, yeah, I guess they are bees, but it doesn't look like the normal bee that I'm used to. I'm used to bees having hives underground. I'll have to read up on that. Nine, accomplishment. Look at all those grubs she's taking to her nest. Ten, wealth. Ooh, I love those hummingbirds. Quetzalcoatl, I guess. It's very... Very Mexican looking. Especially with the skull. And we have the Daughter of Roots, cute little bear. 
son of roots. It's a mole about to eat an earthworm, looks like. Mother of roots. Whoa, it's a powerful image. Looks like constellation of Orion in there. And father of roots. Ooh, a mole coming up out of the ground. All kinds of bugs and stuff under him. So that is the Brady Tarot, and it is definitely, I love the gold edge, but my goodness, that is a chunky monkey, as Becca likes to say. Oof, I am down to my last couple minutes, so um, I just want to thank you for joining me on this little uh, unboxing. Um, of the Brady Tarot. Let me know if you have it, if you use it, if you've gotten, been able to get over the brutality of some of those cards. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, aloha.